This is going to be part two on uh, Zama solid pin refill valve modification. Uh, I, I uh, got into this a little bit, but I didn't have all the parts available. But uh, now I do. Basically, what I'm doing is is I'm taking this valve here. It looks like this in a Zama lighter. Okay, and I'm going to turn it in to looking like this with a Ronson valve in it. Okay, which these here with the uh, use by these on eBay. I want the installation and removal tool. So when your valve needs rebuilt. Uh, if you got the tool and an extra valve, valve costs like five dollars. Uh, you know, just slap another valve in it, and you're good to go. Uh, what the tools required for this is uh, first thing off is uh, I bought some of this uh, tubing on eBay, eBay here. It's uh, 300 millimeters in length. I don't know exactly how long that is in inches, but uh, it's five millimeter OD and a the walls are, have a thickness of uh, 0 0.75, okay, because you got to drill it out. You have to drill the tube out uh, before you tap and use a 3.75 millimeter drill bit, okay, to do this. Now what I recommend doing is because I've tried this other ways and this was the price that I paid for trying it the other way. Okay. And what I recommend doing is is first drilling out the tube, okay, sanding it down, getting ready to solder, then cutting the tube to length. All you gotta do when you do that is just stick it over here, measure it, and cut it off. And I used a pipe cutting tool to do that. Okay, and after you get done with that, make sure you sand the inside of this valve here too, uh, which I've already done on this one. This one here is going to be the uh, the donor, so to speak. This is going to be the one where I'm going to do the soldering on. All right, now. Um, once you cut that off with a pipe, you know, cutter, you're going to have a little, on, on here, you're going to have a little edge, and you want to just get you a small file of some sort and take that edge down, okay? The end that I started taps right here, so I'm just going to stick that down inside. I done put uh, soldering flux on this, just so you'll know. And uh, we're going to get this thing start, uh, soldered up. Now, I'm using a, a silver bearing solder here. The one I had was really, really, really thin, so I just kind of twisted it and doubled it up for the sake of making it a little easier because I'm going to have to work around this camera to do this. And so, anyway, I'm just going to do the solder. Let's get this soldering going here. I don't want to put a lot of heat on there any more than you have to, okay? I'm going to solder this up. Just enough. I'm trying to grab my solder here. Yeah, that happens. Best you turn one of these little torches like this upside down. Let's see what we got here. Well, looks like we're good, guys. 
You don't have to put a lot of, don't put a lot of solder on that either. Don't put any more than you have to, alright? It's just going to run down and get in part of the valve down below. All, all you want there is, uh, all you want is just enough solder just to, just to hold that part in, okay? That's all you want. You don't need to never, even want your solder and copper pipes. You don't want any more solder than than you have to have. All right, now that's going to be quite a bit hot. So, for the sake of time and video, I'm going to put a little bit of uh, swab that down with a little bit of alcohol to just to cool it, so I can handle it and, and show you the rest of it. All right. Just to cool it off a little bit. And it's still a little warm, but remove this out of the way. Okay. Here's what we got. We want to make it look pretty. We can sand it down a little bit. Ain't gonna hurt, hurt it a bit. Now yeah, that's good enough for now. There's what we got. Alright. Now you will have to go in there and drill the inside part of this Zama hole uh, out too with this. Then uh, take your tap and kind of tap, uh, tap that a little bit. And what we're going to do is, well... You know me, I like to, uh, I like to put a little bit of a silicone grease around that O-ring on that filler valve before I put her in. I just like doing that. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm going to zoom out here. I'm going to zoom out. Take that in there like that. Now I'm going to tell you what. You guys are probably thinking, well, what about my filler cap? Oh, see this here? This is a Cristo, same as Crystal pipe lighter. Filler cap still works. The standard filler cap still works just fine, just so you'll know. This one's bed modded too. Alright. Alright. And what you're done here, you just take your little tool. Try to get this centered on here as best you can. It might be a little tough at first on this. Just work with it because this valve's kind of. There we go. Once you get that snug down in there, you're good to go. So you'll know, I'll take this 
this Zima cap here and put it over here. You can see that the cap goes all the way down to the valve itself. All right, guys, that's your Ronson filler valve mod. All right, let me get actually, it takes more to cut it and tap it and get it ready than uh, it does actually to do the mod itself. Um, I think I'm going to sand that down a little bit better here to see what, uh, just get it looking a little better. Make it look a little bit more eye appealing. good thing about this modification here is you know if you use uh, I don't know if you guys seen my video I got on refilling butane lighters but if you have it you ought to get it checked out because let me show you here I uh, actually put these little rubbers on here you know when you use one of these little rubbers here and you press down on these you don't really get you don't really get the waste on butane that you normally do because sometimes you use tips on the inside of these because the various, various uh, you know dimensions of these filler valves vary so okay there you be but anyway uh, for you guys out there that you just dread trying to fill your Zama lighter because you know you're always getting a bunch of blow by you don't ever know if you got the thing filled appropriately or not and seems like you almost waste about a half or you know quite a bit of butane you know just trying to get the thing filled my recommendation is is this fill as much as stick your stick your can on there and fill it and when you start getting backsplash butane then stop get you a little pin and hold your lighter upside down press against the valve and see if you get any air come out if you get a little air come out bleed it just bleed it until you start getting some liquid coming out that's butane then stop then just hit it again you know with a can of butane and stop you're full by that by that time okay so anyway um it does look a lot, lot better. Let's just sand that down a little bit. There we go. Now, like I said, the best part about this is, is 10, 20 years down the road, whatever it is, you know. So it's, you know, vowels, you know, they, they're kind of a, they're a working part and uh, trying to get and uh, they got O-rings in them, and, and uh, they eventually, uh, I need to get a, you know, I snug that down pretty tight, and I'll be tired than I needed to, but anyway, you can just unscrew it, and you might have to put a little pair of pliers on this or something, and uh, I don't mind this and get this valve out, but uh, I snuck that down pretty good. Just get on eBay and grab you another filler valve and stick it in there and tighten it up and you're good to go. You never have to worry about rebuilding. I don't know if you see my rebuild videos about rebuilding the original solid pan. Uh, if that's all you can do, you can go ahead and do that. But uh, this here's your best bet here. I hope this helps you guys out.